There's nothing curious people love more than mysteries and places with maximum security. And over the past few years, skeptics have managed to question what's behind the closed doors of almost any government-protected building that ever existed. And with questions come theories. Join us as we explore some of the most guarded places on Earth. First up on our list, the Vatican Secret Archives. When it comes to privacy, the Vatican sure knows how to keep things a secret. These archives were founded in 1612, and the word on the street is that they were completely closed to the public up until 1881. Accredited Catholic scholars were then allowed to have a sneak peek and of course, with heavy restrictions. The access to material dated after 1939 is absolutely forbidden, and the scholars aren't even allowed to see any documents stating a personal affair. Now, unless you're chosen by the Vatican, there's really no way that you'll get to see these documents. No undergrad students, no regular people, and definitely no one who fails to show required personal data upon entry. So what is it that's so secret about these secret archives? On the 400th anniversary of the Vatican, the public got its first look at a mere 100 documents that the archives have been hiding. And here's just a few things that you'd be able to see. Pope Leo X's Papal Bull, which was a response to Martin Luther who opposed the views of the church. A 1530 petition with more than 30 lords asking for King Henry VIII's marriage annulment. Transcripts from the trial of the Knights Templar. The document is 60 meters long. Also, letters to the Pope from Abraham Lincoln. Letters to Michelangelo warning the Vatican guards haven't gotten their paychecks in a few months. The Doctrine of the Immaculate Conception and thousands of more historical documents that many people would love to get their hands on. The Vatican secret archives are hidden in the library of Vatican City and guarded by Swiss guards. Of course, many theories on what exactly is hidden in those libraries have been formed. From conspiracies that the Vatican is hiding, to the fact that Jesus didn't really exist, to the proof of extraterrestrial life. The Vatican's secret archives really are one of the most guarded places on Earth, and everyone would love to get a closer look on what's behind those hidden doors. Fort Knox now, much like the Vatican archives, Fort Knox also holds some of the most important historical documents, along with a whopping 147.3 million ounces of gold. It's estimated to be worth $270 billion, and you bet your sweet bippy that a lot of people would love to get their hands on just an ounce of these bars. So good luck if you ever try, because Fort Knox is heavily protected. Not only does the door protecting the vault weigh 22 tons, Fort Knox is also guarded by military and armed soldiers ready to shoot down anyone who comes too close. The vault also has one of the most complicated lock systems in the world and reportedly takes a team of 10 just to properly unlock it. The windows of the building are tinted and the glass is fireproof while the entire place is also secured with every possible surveillance system. To get to the building alone, you'd have to cross three barriers, along with an open area that allows the military to spot intruders from miles away. The vault is also protected by mountains, as well as other natural areas in order to avoid any missile attacks. Since the vault was constructed in 1935, there have been no attempted robberies, and one would really have to kind of be insane just to try to get to something that secure. Of course, there have been plenty of conspiracy theories that surround Fort Knox, and some claim that the gold is fake, and that what the vault holds is something much more powerful and extraordinary than just gold. Maybe even what was in that suitcase in Pulp Fiction. And it still stands as one of the secrets that probably won't be exposed anytime soon. And that's what makes it so much more interesting. The Federal Reserve You want to know what's even more secure than Fort Knox? The Federal Reserve Bank in New York. And it makes it hard to believe when it's located in one of the most buzzing cities in the entire world. As it turns out, it's true. And it holds even a larger amount of gold than Fort Knox. By being in a more accessible location, the security has to, of course, get stronger. 
A team of robots control the pallets. No regular human being can even enter into the vault. And meanwhile, a protection force watches the perimeter, and their skills are so good, they could shoot someone from miles and miles away. However, being so accessible has also made the Federal Reserve Bank an open target for anyone who wants to get their hands on some of that sweet, precious gold. In fact, a terrorist attempted to detonate an 800-pound bomb back in 2012. He was then arrested and sentenced to 30 years. Lesson learned? Don't ever be tempted to break into something so heavily protected as the U.S. government. Iron Mountain No, it's not the title of a movie. It's a storage facility in Boston, Massachusetts that reportedly holds the records of management, information destruction, and data backup with recovery services supplied to more than 150,000 customers, and 95% of its owners are confidential. Iron Mountain holds a ton of historically important things, even the remains of 9-11's Flight 93. It's known to have millions of square feet, all covered in vaults where some of the most important people in the world hold on to their secrets. Iron Mountain has another secret, a room called Room 48, built 22 stories underground, and its security is like nothing you've ever seen before. Just picture a high chain link fence that's topped with razor wire, armed military guards, and steel bars, all for a little hole in the ground. I mean, seriously, it's a hole that leads 22 stories down to what appears to be the experimental Room 48. And it's apparently used to experiment on energy efficiency. According to the description, this room is where they use geothermal conditions and engineering designs, all to establish the perfect environment for electronic documents. Sounds pretty important, doesn't it? In fact, the place is so well secured that no break-in attempts have ever been made. In 1967, Dial Press published a book called The Report from Iron Mountain, which apparently reveals the report of the government panel and has testimonies of several ex-employees. Now, nobody actually knows whether the book is real or not, but it's definitely a favorite debate among conspiracy theorists. Guinness Book of World Records even calls it the most successful literary hoax ever. But really, what else does Iron Mountain store that requires such protection? Area 51 Now it's time to get down to some interesting and unexplainable mysteries. Area 51 is a favorite topic for anyone who just can't stop talking about aliens. The location is rather unusual and accessible enough to attract plenty of curious onlookers, but it's not really that easy. Located in the south of Nevada, Area 51 has been a mystery ever since people began noticing unusual activity around this so-called military installation. It got even weirder once ex-employees began talking about aliens, and it hit the fan when the video with an actual alien got leaked out. And the secrets of Area 51 are a little bit harder to reveal. As it turns out, Google Earth satellites aren't even allowed to show the aerial shot of Area 51. And regular humans aren't allowed to enter past a certain point, clearly marked in the desert. The famous desert sign telling people not to take any pictures and cross the line is often ignored. So if you do cross it, you'll apparently be met by two men in a jeep, identified as the Camo Dudes. They sit at the top of a hill and move every time that people try to cross the border, which is still about 15 to 20 miles from the actual base. Thanks to footage from the internet, we can get a pretty good idea of what happens when someone tries to cross the Area 51 border. From a tourist family who got arrested, to two grandmas that ignored the signs and drove right past it, speeding towards the base. A word of advice? Unless you want the entire government coming after you, getting close to Area 51 is probably not a good idea. A few people, even the now ex-president Barack Obama, have joked about Area 51 being a base for aliens. But I guess we'll never know what's truly going on in that so-called military base. Now we move on to the Korean Demilitarized Zone. 
which is just a strip of land, but it's probably one of the most protected strips of land that you've ever heard of. The DMZ represents a border between North and South Korea, and if you know anything about North Korea, you probably know that people aren't really likely to get out of the country that easily. The border is one of the most heavily guarded borders in the world. It stretches 160 miles long and two and a half miles wide. And for those who dare to escape, they'll be killed faster than you can say Kim Jong-un. Along the way to the border, there are about seven military checkpoints, and upon entry, you'll find a mural saying, Korea is one. Among other government things, the border also has a negotiation hall, where all important war meetings happen, along with the North Korean Peace Museum, where the armistice agreement was signed. So, if you ever do happen to visit the border, you'll have to do so on a tour bus, which will be accompanied by someone from the military, just to ensure that nothing goes wrong. Air Force One And now, on to one of the most secure aircrafts in the entire world. We're sure that you've heard of Air Force One, the plane that carries the President of the United States. For that reason alone, you can bet that the plane and the entire landing area are surrounded by maximum security. So, no, you probably won't be able to stand near it anytime soon. The plane itself is rather impressive, holding 100 staff, along with a pharmacy and an extended medical room to aid the president when needed. Believe it or not, it also has 85 onboard telephones, 19 televisions, computers and fax machines. And of course, in order to keep the plane secure at all times, there are several important parts that we can't discuss. And that's because they're top secret, and the information is not available to the public. In the case of an air attack, the plane can definitely hold its own. It's equipped with electronic countermeasures that mess up nearly any nearby radar along with flares and missiles. When the President flies an Air Force One, more than a dozen military officials stand guard, and they are permitted to shoot anyone who they deem to be a threat. So don't get your hopes up of ever catching the sight of the plane, you'll have more luck spotting an alien at Area 51. This has been a look at some of the most guarded places on Earth, but which ones did we miss? Let us know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Intentionally designed to look like a beautiful oak tree, Google Earth users found a shocking discovery when they realized what this Dixon based church actually looks like from above. Have you figured it out yet?